Hi there, in today's video I want to talk to you about something very interesting regarding the puppy's descent angle, the AI less class drop angle and the non-precision approach descent angle. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider do so because I'm uploading lots of new content every week. So without further ado, let's talk about the puppy descent angle, okay, the puppy's angles and the ILS glass slope angle and the non precision approach descent angle. You might be thinking, yeah, what is the connection between these things? The connection is that if the puppy and the glide slope descent angle are the same, and if the puppy and the glide slope touchdown point are in the same position, if you get established on a ALS of three degrees, for example, you're gonna see two whites and two reds on your puppies all the way down. Fantastic. So if you don't know what puppies are, I made a separate video. I strongly recommend to watch that video first, okay? It's in the link description below, and then come back here in order to understand in full the content of this video. But anyway, so if the puppies angle, the glide slope angles are the same and they are both collocated in the same point, okay? The touchdown of the puppy indication, the touchdown of the glide slope indications are in the same point, you're gonna read two whites and two reds all the way down. Okay? But let me ask you a question. What will happen if, for example, we've got a puppy's angle of 4 degrees and, I am, I am, I am, and an ELS glide slope angle of 3 degrees? What will happen is that since the puppy's angle are higher than the ELS glide slope uh, angle, you will read most probably 3 reds and then 4 reds or something like this. Okay? But why is that? Let me elaborate. Let's jump into the whiteboard and then I'll make a few examples. Let me draw a runway here, okay? So this is the runway. Here we go. So this is your touchdown zone, which is in here, is where your, the wheels of your plane should touch, and the, and the puppies normally are in here, the four, the four whites that you see, okay? Again, if you don't know what the puppies are, watch the video. But anyway, three degrees uh, puppy angle means that if you take the touchdown zone, okay, and then you draw the, the final descent, okay, the three degrees, is this angle in here, okay? So basically, this is a three degrees angle, okay? So the steeper, the higher the angle, the steeper will be your descent, okay? So if you imagine this is a three degrees, four degrees descent angle will be something like this, okay? So an higher angle, okay? So your descent will be steeper, okay? So this is a three degrees, this is a four degrees, six degrees, and so on. Of course, guys, the drawing that I'm doing is just to make sure that the concept is clear, okay? They are not to scale, you know, it's just to make sure the concept is clear. So what will happen is that, let's say these puppies in there are set on the four degrees. So they give you the information about this descent angle in here, okay? So if you maintain two whites and two red all the way down, that means that you are flying the four degrees all the way down. However, if you follow a three degrees ILS, you will be below the puppy's uh, uh, descent angle informations. Okay, so if you fly an ELS, even though your glide slope is right in the center, everything is fine, you will still see three reds and four reds most probably. Okay, this is not very common. Okay, 99.9% .9 the glide slope and the uh, puppy's angles are the same and they are located in the same position. Okay, they actually fly all the way down to the touchdown point on the same position. Okay, however, you might find some airports where you have this discrepancy. Okay, so when you have this discrepancy, it's something that you should take care of, okay? When you read on your airport information that the puppies are 3 degrees and then the glide slope is 3.5, for example, you might be thinking a little bit, okay, if the puppy is 3 degrees, the glide slope is 3.5, that means that they're gonna fly a glide slope, an ELS glide slope, which is above the puppy indication. So I might end up looking and seeing 3 whites, for example, okay? Beautiful. So. I hope this is clear so we can move on. Okay, at the end of the video, guys, so I'm gonna make up a real example in the simulator, okay, so we can actually see what happens, okay? So if you look on this, on the chart in here of Lanzarote, okay, we've got on the 10 nines, this is a Jepsen chart, okay? On the chart 10 nine, normally, of all the airports, okay, if you go on the chart 10 nine of your local airport, you will see that you've got this random information uh, section in there. And then in here, as you can see, we've got runway 03 and runway 21, okay? So this, in there are the, are the informations about the runway, okay? And all the way down in here, you will see that you've got the puppy informations 
uh, regarding running 0, 3 and the puppy's information regarding the running 2, 1. Okay, and as you can see, puppy 0, 3 is at 3 degrees and puppy 2, 1 is 3.7 degrees. So that means that the puppy for the running 2, 1 has got a steeper descent. So if you maintain to white and to red during the final on running 2, 1, you're gonna fly a steeper descent compared to the one on running 0, 3. Okay, but why is that? Why we actually have puppies that are uh, steeper, that are giving you a steeper descent. It's because in some airports, okay, you might have the rain on short final, okay? And by increasing the angle of your puppies, okay? Again, let's look at the whiteboard here. If we put a mountain in here, okay? If you keep at three degrees, you might get too close to the terrain. So by increasing to 3.7, you might, you can actually increase the terrain clearance, thus make sure, make possible, you know, make, uh, perform the approach and, and be instead clear of terrain, okay? Because if you maintain three degrees in some upper, since you might have terrain, okay, you might not be clear enough from, from the terrain, okay? So that's why sometimes you, you've got an higher puppy uh, degree, okay? So now, let's see. If we jump on the next chart in Lanzarote, where we know that for running 0.3 the puppy are 3 degrees, we are looking here at the ILS Azul running 0.3 in Lanzarote. Okay, so if you look at Lanzarote running 0.3, we look at the section in here. Okay, again, guys, if you don't know how to read an approach chart, I made a lot of video about that. They are in the description below, watching the channel, and you got a full understanding of how to read the approach chart. Okay. So if you look in here, the ILS glide slope in here, we've got a descent angle of the glide slope of three degrees, okay? That means that if the puppies and the glide slope are in the same position, touchdown of these two, the glide slope and the puppies are in the same position, since they have the same angle, once you get established on the glide slope, you will fly all the way down, seeing two whites and two reds of the puppies, okay? However, if you look below that, We've got the localizer only approach and the localizer only approach has got a descent angle of 3.2 degrees that means that it's a steeper descent compared to the glide slope in here is when stuff start, start to become a little bit tricky here okay because look at the chart in here in this section here we've got the vertical profile of the chart if you look in here, it seems like this is the LS, the glide slope. And if you start the descent in here, where is the FAF? I made a separate video about the FAF, okay? If you start the descent in there and you descend with three degrees, you just follow this black line, which is the LS, the glide slope, okay? So you're gonna fly nice and easy all the way down, looking at the puppies, two whites and two red. However, if you start the descent at the same point of the LS, but you maintain a 3.2 degrees descent angle, what will happen is that your descent angle will go down uh, with a steeper descent angle. Thus, you might end up seeing three whites, sorry, three reds and one white. Okay? The opposite is also true if you've got a non precision approach that makes you fly uh, straight and then start the descent later. What will happen is that if you start the descent later and you have a steeper descent angle, when you are all, all in here, okay, you're gonna see three whites at the beginning because you are starting the descent later, okay? So these are all the things that you should think about and take into consideration when approaching, uh, when performing approach uh, briefing, okay? Because let's say this approach chart in here, instead of starting the, the descent at the same point of the glide slope, will have made you to fly straight all the way down there and then start the descent with a steeper descent in order to go down and come back on profile, you will end up looking outside and seeing three whites, okay? So it really depends where you start the descent. If you start at the same point, you have a steeper descent, you end up being low. If you start at the same uh, point that is after your glide drop, and you will end up uh, seeing a three whites on the puppies, okay? So now that this angle difference is clear, let me ask you another question. What will happen if the glide slope touchdown information, okay, let's say you get on the uh, establishment of the glide slope and then you fly the glide slope all the way down to the touchdown, okay? The glide slope will fly you all the way down to the, glide, to the touchdown. What will happen if the puppies touchdown information, okay, let's say you fly the puppies all the way down to the touchdown, however, the puppies are not co-located, are not located in your touchdown zone, but they are located in a point that is after your touchdown zone. Okay. In that case, even though the degrees are the same, you're going to have a problem there because if you follow the glide slope, you will end up seeing three reds and then four reds. Okay. Because the touchdowns of the puppy is uh, 
situated is located after your the, the touchdown zone of the ILS of the cluster. Okay, let me draw the example in there. So let me draw an example in here. Okay, so let's say this is the runway. Okay, so that's the runway in there. Here we go. So that's your touchdown of the ILS. Okay, so the glide drop. So if you follow the glide drop, you're gonna end up touching down in there. Okay, but if the puppies are in here, so after your glide drop touchdown, okay, what will happen? At even though, so let's call it in here. Okay, the touchdown. So even though you're flying on the same three degrees, okay, the angle are, is the same and everything is fine. What will happen is that you will end up being below because the, since the, the touchdown zone is after. You're gonna touch down before, so you're gonna fly slow, uh, below the, the puppy's indications. Okay, so the typical example in here is uh, Bergam. In Bergam, you've got the puppy uh, touchdown and the glide drop touchdown zone are, are not co located. Thus, if you follow the glide drop, you will end up being uh, three red, and then four red. If you follow the puppies, you will end up being above the glide drop. Okay, so really in there you really need to think about what you have to do. Okay, in order to show you this example, in order to make sure that it's all clear, let's jump into the sim simulator and then I'll show you what I mean. Okay, guys, so we are actually here. Okay, we are on the downwind from the run. Okay, and my goal, as we said, we're gonna actually I'm gonna show you that we're gonna follow the LS, the glide slope, and then we will see that the puppy is gonna go three three reds and then following a four red scenario. Okay, as we discussed already, in ideal world, the 90% of the time we've got the glide slope, which is and the same is collocated with the puppy, let's say. So when you follow the glide slope, you should have two whites and two reds all the way down. However, sometimes it is not like that. Okay, let me show you. Uh, this is one of the examples. Okay, this is a Bergamo. Okay, and it's north of Italy. And uh, I've been flying to Bergamo many times, so I know that in here the puppies are not. Uh, in the same position, the puppies and the glide stop are not, let's say, collocated. Okay, they will not give you the same uh, information. The information will be pretty much very similar. Okay, until short final. Then on short final, as the puppy gets uh, narrower, okay, the puppy gets a lot more precise. As the ILS, you will see that there will be a discrepancies between the puppy informations and the glide stop informations. Okay, so now. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn left in here, okay, and then get established on the localizer, and then the glide stop. We're gonna perform an automatic uh, landing, okay, so we're not gonna touch anything because our goal is to see that even though we fly the glide stop, okay, we are actually going to get three, three reds and four reds uh, after that, okay. So I'm gonna start to extend the flap in here, we're gonna put flap five, there we go. And that's because even though if you look at the chart of the Bergamo, the angle of the puppy is actually three degrees, but the problem in here is that the puppies are 100 meters, around 100 meters uh, uh, forward compared to the glide slope position. So what will happen is that the glide, the glide slope will make you land before the puppy, let's say. So that, uh, thus, we should read three reds and then, some, uh, and then following four reds, okay? But that's not a big deal as long as you actually brief and you know what is going on. Okay, so we're gonna get okay, established and localized, and then we're gonna land in here. Okay, that's the run. Okay, so this is our final. So we have now uh, actually we have got something that makes sense. We've got in here beautiful. So we level up a 4,000, and then we'll see. Here we go. So we've got a 4,000 feet. The glide slope is here. Okay, and the localizer is there. Very soon, once we get established, as you said, this is the localizer, okay, the localizer inbound, you will see that the localizer will start to come in there and the glide slope will start to descend. Once they got both centered, that means that we are on the ELS established inbound and we start the descent. So the glide slope here is alive, as you can see now it became a full magenta dot, okay? Full diamond, full mag magenta diamond. And the localizer as well is starting to get in, okay? So now you see the localizer is coming, the glide slope is coming, and you can see in here very soon it's gonna, we're gonna have this vorlock in green in big. That means that autopilot will follow the localizer, and that's what just happened. Vorlock means that the, 
uh, auto pad will follow the localizer okay so it's gonna keep this one in the center and we're gonna follow that and the run is just in there the glide drop is coming There we go, so the glide drop now, the autopilot actually captured the glide drop and now we will start the descent following the glide drop, okay? Let me lower this light a little bit. Play this smoother, there we go. Very good. So no, now you will see that the pop is going to be to white and to red almost all the way down but as we get very close to the runway the puppies and the glides do become very accurate and then we will see the differences in there and on short final you will see that we're gonna have three rates and then following four rates i've got a master caution here we can disregard that for a moment So if you look outside, you see the runway. At the moment, we've got, as you can see in there, the puppy are on the left and on the right of the runway, okay? And there are two whites and two reds, okay? From now, from this distance, we cannot actually see that are two and two, but we can see that half of them are white and half of them are, re are red, okay? And just in case you don't know, is, these are the lights, okay? These lights in there, okay? So very good. I'm going to extend the landing gear now. Here we go, put the flaps down to 15 and start configuring the aircraft for landing. Let's switch on all the lights in there. There we go. Okay, we still have two whites and two reds, okay, as you can see in here. But very soon you will see, well, very soon, around 200 feet, just after the minima, you will see that we're going to start. Look, now we've got three reds, even though we are flying the glide drop, okay? And that's normally, it's not what you should have, okay? But because the, the puppies are not located with the glide drop antenna, okay, that's what will happen, okay? And that actually happens in real life. So three reds. Even though we are perfectly on the glide slope. And now we've got four rates. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video in here, guys, because it is very important to understand this, okay, this concept. Because we need to know okay when we have got the puppies that are not located with the uh, ILS okay so this runway in particular with a glide stop sorry this run in particular has got uh, an auto land feature okay so you can actually do a cut three approach out of this runway so you're gonna fly the ILS all the way down to the landing okay so there will be a point in where you're gonna have four four reds but because you're flying the glide drop okay you're gonna be on on the profile okay so in real life, what happens is that it's really up, up to you. Okay, the difference here is very, very, 
it's not that big the difference okay in real life what you can do you can disconnect and get something in between okay as long as you make it to the touchdown it's fine okay don't go below the glide slope that's for sure okay because the problem with this is that now we don't know we don't have any references apart from the glide slope because if you go below the glide slope in this case okay you don't know how low you are because the puppies are already for red okay so you want to keep something between the glide stop and the, the puppies that's for sure okay so again you can actually follow once you have, after the minima you can follow the puppies and just get two whites and two reds on the puppies and length or you can just make it three reds one white okay but again don't go to the extreme because it's fine if you've got a glide stop and the glide stop is working okay to follow the glide stop and as well as it's fine to follow the puppies, okay? It is not fine to go below the glide slope in this case because we've got already three rates and, uh, sorry, four rates. If you go below the glide slope, you're gonna be very low and you don't have any information apart from the glide slope that will tell you how low you are, you know? All right, so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the puppies, okay? About the puppies degrees. This, in this case, the problem was that the puppies are not collocated on, the, they are not on the same position as the glide slope, okay, angle. As we said already in some airports, we've got the puppies are with different angle. Okay, so you may have this situation, the three reds or uh, uh, the three whites, okay, because the angle of the puppy compared to the angle of the uh, ILS or the non-precision approaches most of the time is different. So in that case, you should really uh, try to get the, the puppy inside and then disconnect the fly the puppies out of the non-precision approach. Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to palocrime.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.